With the newly enhanced 64-bit Adobe Media Encoder, it's easier than ever before to simply take your projects directly from the Premiere Pro timeline, or even After Effects, and render them in the background, use new presets to go out to mobile devices and tablet devices, and even create watch folders to do true background batch processing. Let's take a look at how we do that. So what you can see inside Premiere Pro is that we finished up our dialog sequence, and now we're ready to export this. So now it's easier than ever before to simply drag and drop directly from the Premiere Pro interface into Adobe Media Encoder and begin the process of encoding. So I can grab my sequence, Dialog Sequence Final, click, drag, drop, and there we are. And we're ready to begin the process of encoding. Now, of course, we can choose formats. And this is really going to showcase all of the native formats that we have in Premiere Pro, everything from H.264, DPX, ABC Intra, P2 Movies, etc. Choose presets and choose the output and begin the process of encoding. Now, you'll notice that the interface has also been reskinned. It's much cleaner. It's much easier to follow. And if we twirl up the current encode option here, now we can actually see that it's almost done encoding the content. But it gets even better, because I mentioned earlier, what if we actually want to take this piece of content once it's finished and actually export it out to multiple different types of media? For instance, we want to send it not only to the big screen, not only to Blu-ray, but what about devices, tablets, mobile devices? Well, we can do that with our new watch folder support. Let's go ahead and twirl this up. I'm going to click on the plus button here, and we're going to create a new folder, and we'll just place it on the desktop, and I'll call this Tablet Exports. OK. So once we have that in there, now we can choose a format. If we go up to Preset, right there you can see iPhones, iPods, iPads, and of course you can customize all of the settings for these very easily. So let's make one for an iPad. Now I want to create multiple versions at one time. I want to be able to leverage this like true background batch processing. So we can do that now with our watch folders. We can simply add that same watch folder multiple times, choose a different format. So why don't we go into something like F4V, and again, lots of different phone and tablet presets here. These are all new. And lastly, let's go to something like our uh, H.264 Blu-ray. We can just match the source attributes here. It already has the output set. So now we can take that export that we just created, drop it into this single watch folder, and in the background, thanks to 64-bit, it will create versions automatically of all of these different formats that we've just selected. This makes life so much easier. And again, it's leveraging that same drag and drop that we've implemented across many of the applications in 5.5. The new Adobe Media Encoder will change the way you export.